we will look briefly at how we can use a shift register to perform serial to parallel conversion. So here's my input signal, which is serial. And we understand this, remember, as a stream of numbers. And to work out what that stream of numbers are, we look to see what the value of D is at each rising edge of the clock. The first number is going to be a 1, because at the first rising edge of the clock, D is a 1. The second number is going to be a 0, and the third number is going to be a 1. So down here, this D is representing the number 1, 0, 1. And so what we want the output of our serial to parallel converter to be at the end of the day is 1, 0, 1, corresponding to the serial number that went in. And now we have got three wires here. I can represent a 3-bit number. And simultaneously, I want these three wires to be displaying 1, 0, 1. Then I will have gone from this serial signal here to this parallel output here. Initially, though, let's assume each of my three flip-flops is currently outputting a 0. And then what happens next? Well, we have got moving this way in time. Time goes from left to right. At the first rising edge of the clock, D is equal to a 1. So D is a 1. There's a rising edge of the clock. And so all these four numbers in white, they get shifted one place to the right. That means that this 0 here drops off to be replaced by this 0. This 0 shifts across to here, and this 1 shifts across to here, which means after our first rising edge of the clock, our shift registers are now 1, 0, 0. At the next rising edge of the clock, we have that D is 0. And so at the rising edge of the clock, everything gets shifted across 1. The 0 that was here gets shifted across to there. The 1 that was here gets shifted across to here. And the 0 coming in at the input here gets shifted across to here. And finally, at our third rising edge, we've got the input D is equal to a 1. So at this rising edge of the clock, all, all the numbers get shifted across. This 1 gets shifted across here. This 0 gets shifted across here. And this 1 gets shifted across here. And we see that after our three rising edges, to shift in our three bits of numbers, we indeed have the correct output. We have got a 1, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1. After we finished this sequence here, of three rising edges of the clock, representing our three numbers 101 on the D pin.